Science is not only compatible with spirituality, it is a profound source of spirituality. When we recognize our place in an immensity of light years and in the passage of ages, when we grasp the intricacy, beauty, and subtlety of life, then that soaring feeling, that sense of elation and humility combined, is surely spiritual. The notion that science and spirituality are somehow mutually exclusive does a disservice to both. Carl Sagan, if you go to bed at night without learning something new that day, your day is not complete. Luke Paquin, 1973 Tyranny or dictator or totalitarianism or fascism or etc. Tyranny Tyranny occurs when absolute power is granted to a ruler, cruel and oppressive government or rule. In a tyrannical government, the ruler becomes corrupt and uses his power to further his own interests instead of working for the common good. The rule of law is the principle that no one is exempt from the law, even those who are in a position of power. A tyrant in the modern English usage of the word, is an absolute ruler who is unrestrained by law, or one who has usurped a legitimate ruler's sovereignty. Often portrayed as cruel, Tyrants may defend their positions by resorting to repressive means. The original Greek term meant an absolute sovereign who came to power without constitutional right, yet the word had a neutral connotation during the archaic and early classical periods. However, Greek philosopher Plato saw tyrannos as a negative word, and on account of the decisive influence of philosophy on politics. Dictator a dictator is a political leader who possesses absolute power. A dictatorship is a state ruled by one dictator or by a small clique. The word originated as the title of a Roman dictator elected by the Roman Senate to rule the Republic in times of emergency. Like the term tyrant, and to a lesser degree autocrat, dictator came to be used almost exclusively as a non-titular term for oppressive rule. In modern usage the term dictator is generally used to describe a leader who holds or abuses an extraordinary amount of personal power. Dictatorships are often characterized by some of the following, suspension of elections and civil liberties, proclamation of a state of emergency, rule by decree, repression of political opponents, not abiding by the procedures of the rule of law, and the existence of a cult of personality centered on the leader. Dictatorships are often one-party or dominant-party states. Totalitarianism Totalitarianism is a form of government and a political system that prohibits all opposition parties, outlaws individual and group opposition to the state and its claims, and exercises an extremely high if not complete degree of control and regulation over public and private life. It is regarded as the most extreme and complete form of authoritarianism. In totalitarian states, political power is often held by autocrats, such as dictators and absolute monarchs, who employ all-encompassing campaigns in which propaganda is broadcast by state-controlled mass media in order to control the citizenry. Totalitarian regimes are different from other authoritarian regimes, as the latter denotes a state in which the single power holder, usually an individual dictator, a committee, a military junta, or an otherwise small group of political elites, monopolizes political power. A totalitarian regime may attempt to control virtually all aspects of social life, including the economy, the education system, arts, science, and the private lives and morals of citizens through the use of an elaborate ideology. It can also mobilize the whole population in pursuit of its goals. Fascism Fascism is a far-right authoritarian, ultranationalist political ideology and movement, characterized by a dictatorial leader, centralized autocracy, militarism, forcible suppression of opposition, belief in a natural social hierarchy, subordination of individual interests for the perceived good of the nation and race, and strong regimentation of society and the economy. Fascism rejects assertions that violence is inherently bad and views imperialism, political violence, and war as means to national rejuvenation. 
Fascists often advocate for the establishment of a totalitarian one-party state, and for a dirigist economy, with a principal goal of achieving national economic self-sufficiency through protectionist and economic interventionist policies. Fascism's extreme authoritarianism and nationalism often manifests as belief in racial purity or a master race, usually blended with some variant of racism or bigotry against a demonized other, such as Jews. These ideas have motivated fascist regimes to commit genocides, massacres, forced sterilizations, mass killings, and forced deportations. Cult of the Leader Pisistratus Hipparchus Julius Caesar John, King of England Henry VIII Oliver Cromwell Napoleon Bonaparte Adolf Hitler Benito Mussolini Joseph Stalin Mao Zedong Kim Il Sung Augusto Pinochet Alberto Fujimori Ferdinand Marcos Kim Jong-un etc.